first thing we're going to be doing is painting on this piece of glass just to see what the different types of glass paint look like on glass. We are going to start with the gloss enamel, which en I keep saying that really weird. Glass enamel. <laughs> um, that's just the basic, it's gonna be the paint that uh, is the darkest. It doesn't really have any opacity to it. So I'm gonna put some of that in my tray here. And I'm just gonna paint that on. And you can do more than one coat with glass paint as well. If you want it to be super thick um, and of course, depending on the type of paint, super glittery or frosted or however you want, you can add more layers of paint. So you can see there that um, this is our gloss enamel. So our next one that we're going to use is the frost. This one is called frost enamel. And now, now I don't even know how to say it because I keep saying it so weird. Enamel. Why is that word so hard to say? Try and say it over and over and over again and you'll start saying it weird too. Enamel. <laughs> so this is the frost. I'm gonna grab a different paintbrush and just paint that on. Now the really cool thing about about this paint by DecoArt is it is even dishwasher safe. So you can set it, you set it by letting it dry for four days and then um, you bake it and it becomes totally dishwasher safe. So that is super awesome. So it is great for drinking glasses, um, cups, mugs, anything like that. I'm just going to paint that, try and get rid of some of my brush strokes here. And if this were a real project I was working on, I definitely would take more time with my brush strokes to make sure that it went on much nicer. Now you can see that blue really looks like it's barely even on there. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the crystal. Put my brush over there. And we're gonna do the same thing and just paint this next one on. Now I have to tell you the crystal is probably my favorite because it's still quite opaque, but it's darker, but it's got more of a glossy to it. I would say the frost is a more matte, and the crystal is more glossy. Okay, so there is our crystal. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more right there. And you can put on as thick of a coat or as light of a coat as you want. Now we're going to move on to the crystal glass enamel with glitter. Now I meant to check one of these you aren't supposed to use a paintbrush. You are supposed to use a, a sponge. Oh yep yeah, it's the one we just did. Um, it says that you can use a cosmetic sponge which I did on one of my other projects but you can also brush it on. So I don't have a cosmetic sponge. I thought I had some and I was out. So a brush still works uh, but the sponge might get it a little bit more smooth. But the one with glitter, you can still totally do a brush. It doesn't say anything about the um, sponge. 
So this one's really fun because of course glitter makes everything better. So this is the crystal gloss enamel with glitter. So now I'm gonna brush that one on. And I love this one, I love glitter. I'm a glitter girl. Do you guys like glitter? Or do you prefer to be glitter free? I almost always even have like a little speck of glitter on my cheek, all the time. Just means I'm crafting. Okay, so there is our glitter. And then this last one that I'm going to show you is a ton of fun because um, it's a 3D enamel and it even comes with a spout that makes it super duper easy to use. So you can draw um, on your glass. So I'm just going to, I am not an artist, like when it comes to being able to draw things. So I'm gonna pretend I am. And of course, with anything with a tip, the tighter you squeeze it, the more that's gonna come out of it, the lighter you squeeze it, you'll have a thinner line. And this is really fun to play with. Of course, this isn't gorgeous because I'm not putting a lot of time into it. <laughs> if this was an actual project, I'd probably be a little bit more careful. But there is our 3D opaque. 